Hello, 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 and welcome to my latest video. Um, this is going to be the first in a series of videos that are pretty much going to span the rest of the year. At least one video a month will be dedicated to this subject, and that is the flower pour. So it's a one, two, maybe three techniques that I'm going to explore over the videos on various bases. So not just a white or black base. I'm actually expanding into colour bases on these as well. Um, looking at some colour theory and how things, um, how colours really work when you're doing acrylic pores, particularly with base, um, a coloured base because the base really, as Megan Trainer said, it's all about that base, about that base. But for this one, I'm starting out quite simple with using up some paints from a previous pour. You can actually see the previous pour to the side still drying. So I'm starting out with the blue and gold, and now adding in the... Um, iridescent red, a bit more gold because I really wanted this to be a very golden flower. The gold does shine through, but it's not as dominant as I would have expected. The reason that I've done the base in the way that I have is I didn't want the petals of the flower to go over the edge. I wanted to control the negative space. Celine was exclaiming in shock at that. And I'm coming in there with the satin red from Deco Art, and coming in again with a uh, darker blue and some purple, and now pouring some white around the edge of the piece, of the colour there. The reason that I had the colour in the middle on bare canvas was I wanted to make sure that the centre really popped so it was would be able to cling to the bare canvas instead of just gliding away over the um over the paint. I did say I didn't want the colours to go over the edge and there you can see some going over the edge. I wanted the if anything went over the edge to for it to be on the longer side of the piece, not the top or bottom side of the piece. So I'm just going in now, defining the edges of the flowers that I can see, and looking at my composition. And the, way, the reason why I go around and finger paint the edges of the petals quite often that you're going to see in quite a few of these videos is I like the idea that these are petals. They are individual things, so they would have a hard edge that you would be able to see. It. I just think they look a bit better with the edge defined like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure at this point. I think there's some more colour under there. And it's not with the white it's looking a bit not faded, but not quite what I wanted. Um the light there shining on the canvas is coming down. Um that's just because I have a weird thing with my eyes, so I do better in darker rooms. And to see the colours popping out, I actually need to have the light on the canvas, which sometimes does affect the recording ever so slightly. But yeah, I've decided I don't like a little piece there. I don't like how it's merging into one. I want it to want the petals to look a bit more distinct. So with that, I've come in with some tissue just to 
take out the paint that I don't want. And then when you do that, if you find a piece that really doesn't work, just go in with your kitchen towel, your tissue, take the paint up and then just there, lay down some of your base again. No one will know it wasn't there. Especially if you don't tell them, and especially if you don't do a video telling them about it. No one will know. So, shh, I never did that. I'm just touching up the edges of the canvas because I want the white to go um, over the edge. Didn't want the whole piece to go over the edge. So, at this point, I'm fairly happy with what I've got. So, I just come in and basically drag the white paint over the rest of the canvas and I do come in off camera to paint the rest of the white in because it doesn't the shade doesn't look quite the same because it's a thinner layer of paint that I finger paint over but really doesn't take that long to do and it's just part of the finishing process that I have for this painting. So that is basically how I did most of this painting. You're going to see me coming in for the wet result in... Hey peeps, so here is the wet result. God, this piece is gorgeous, but apparently Captain Red Pants, the docent, doesn't agree. Just sighing in the background if you could hear him. Um, so, yeah, I love this piece. Made out of leftover paints and a little bit of other paint mixed up. It's gorgeous. So I'll take you in so you can see. There we go from above. I'll take you in so you can see the details. This is gorgeous. It's showing up a bit more on the pink side on my camera, but or camera phone. But yeah, it's purple and red. Let's actually see if we flip the... There we go. Much better. Flipping the light down worked. So it's one of the petals. Um, so I think it was a bit on camera. I went round and sharpened up the edges and then I've done that all the way round another one of the petals with the blue showing out and gorgeous little cell just there and one of the upper petals I did use my straw a little bit to blow this and I took some paint up and put some white paint in just to get the shape there. I wasn't happy with how that one and this one blended in together. And some of the blue more showing up there. Sorry for the handshake. Um, petal there. And then the final petal there. That looks like a smiling something. Not a Pikachu, but some kind of Pokemon, I think. We've got a salamander surfing there. You can see the eyes and the mouth. Oh, what else can I see, actually? Oh. An unhappy dinosaur there in the white. And a stag jumping, or a horse jumping. Over. No, it's definitely a stag jumping over something. And... Kind of an in-profile elephant. I see there. But the bit that you didn't see on camera, because I didn't do it on camera, is this centre bit. I always wanted the centre to be either black or gold. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back in and do it black, actually. Um, but the blue only really came out in the middle, but it came out really quite unevenly. So I've gone in, put some splodges of blue in, some splodges of the... American Satin, uh, do, do Dark Scarlet, um, Deco Art, um, that's gone and created some amazing cells between that and the blue and a little bit of the gold just kind of 
<sighs> defining the edges of the inner flower bit, the f inner group of petals, probably. Don't know. I might actually come in and make it so that you've got three. So you've kind of got those ones there. Then the re deep red purple bits around the edge. I could kind of draw in in the middle of each petal just a simple gold line that would denote those ones. I might actually do that and then use a gold line to do the outside of those as well going into the third ring of the outer ones. But yeah, that's the end result, the wet result and God, these colours are gorgeous together. Love it. Thank you for watching. Um, join me again next time. Bye-bye. So I did come in off camera and change the two petals on the left-hand side, I think it was, in the video into one. Um, it just didn't quite balance out having three dot three sides with two petals and one with one. So I came in and changed the two to one as I can change the one to two. So this is the final dried result. But thank you for watching. Please come back again next week to watch another amazing video. Like, subscribe, follow me on social media at Sissy Artist. And I will see you again next time. Bye bye.